If it's allowed to breathe too quickly, it goes through its life cycle very quickly and ends up being scrap. But there is a simple solution to that because more and more organizations out there are happy to make good use of fruit and veg that might otherwise go unsold and end up as waste. We believe that no good food should go to waste. We saw a huge need to feed people who are vulnerable and actually need access to great food. But also we saw also saw a, an issue within the food chain and the food industry where surplus food was being disposed of and, and being put into landfill. And we sit in the middle of those two issues, which is to intercept that food before it becomes waste and redistribute it to those who need it. Fair Share Yorkshire is one of a growing number of charities that work with food suppliers and manufacturers to help them reduce their food surpluses. Anything that's still going to waste is redistributed to thousands of food banks, charities and schools right across the country. In 2017, the charity saved over 13,000 tonnes of food, equivalent to nearly 29 million meals from being thrown into landfill. The food enables these charities to do far more than just feed people. It also reduces their budget substantially, which means that money can be reinvested back into those services. This is a huge win-win here with redistributing surplus food to these charities. Regardless of how it's packaged, Fair Share will accept any fruit and veg that's still good to eat. This community centre in Wakefield in West Yorkshire is one of a number of charities that relies on the redistributed food. Brilliant. Thank you, David. The manager, Adam Redfern, runs alternative education classes for teenagers who struggle at school. Well, it makes a massive difference. This area has been in a lot of deprivation for, for a lot of years. And a lot of the people that we work with, the low-income families and stuff like that, the food that we provide here, it's healthy dinners. So, for example, we try and make sure that there's meat and vegetables, we can like cook proper meals. For example, shepherd's pie and veg, or chicken uh, with vegetables and mashed potatoes. So we're providing healthy, balanced meals. The young people who use the centre eat healthily for free, while the money saved on the groceries bill means precious cash can be spent where it's most needed. We were spending three to 400 pounds per week on refreshments. Uh, which impacted as budget and then we could not invest in facilities at the centre to enhance what we're doing. But by relieving the budget that we're having to spend on food, it's enabled us to create a gymnasium, to upgrade facilities. Over in the kitchen, it's Chef Ilya who takes charge of the free supplies, cooking up nutritious, well-balanced meals for 60 people every day of the week, using up, first of all, any items that are nearing their use-by date. Yeah, we've got butter, cheese, some meat, some ready meals and that. The quality of the food is all the time is brilliant because Sometimes, yeah, it's like low dates and that, but if there is a low date product, try to use it ASAP. They come here and they're really happy. Every time they come past, they had a dinner and they, every single one says thank you to me. And that means a lot to me, because just simple thank you means a lot.